What's up guys, Marco, I'm seeing this right well. Here with TJ. We're gonna have him cut holes for the, I mean, cut boxes for the first time. Sorry about that. Holes, you're gonna, boxes, okay. So always remember, you might, you just gotta tack the board, tack the board and never screw close to the, the, the box, otherwise you'll cause blowouts. So you can either mark the bottom, but I like to mark the top because it you don't have to bend over. So now we know there's a light from this line down nine inches. They mark the middle of the box. When you're learning, a good thing to do is poke a little hole with the router. Again, we use the, the one eighth of it. So you're gonna wanna poke a little hole. And Get the back of your hammer and stick those wires in. Oh, it's gently, gently, bro. They're gonna be like freaking, <laughs> freaking nice. Don't give a shit. <laughs> Get away from it. things the reason TJ did the hole again is if you're learning you can stick your finger in <laughs> TJ went a little overboard but just stick your finger in and feel for the wire make sure you didn't bite it and you know you're inside the box so one thing you did was you kind of just skipped it it'd be good to trace it all the way to the plastic and then you skip you skip over it yeah because this is thin you don't want to write it too much but you skip over it and then you start to write the edge. So as you're routering TJ, you kind of have to keep pressure. Now you know you're on the outside of this, right? So you keep pressure on the outside of the box. Here, let's go to an empty box. You're gonna start here. You go, eh, you feel it, you skip it, go on the outside. Apply pressure this way so you know that you're writing it. This is a tracing bit, so it's gonna help you, but you still have to kind of help it too, you know? Apply pressure, and then once you hit this corner, 
you're gonna feel the router want to go this way just let it and then now you're pushing down so first you're pushing this way now you're pushing and by pushing I mean like little bit but not not like you're not trying to break the bit yeah you're writing it down and then you're gonna feel it want to drop let it drop and when it drops now you push this way so when you get to this corner it's gonna want to run this way and that way you stay tight against the box and prevent stuff like this yeah but this when you're hanging this is going to be one of the harder things to pick up marco just started getting good at it he's been hanging for about a year now granted he screws off while i cut and the router and you know that's our system but if you're learning how if you're an apprentice or you know you're trying to do your own house get strapped pieces of drywall like this and just keep practicing you can keep turning it around until you feel comfortable because if you do this on a finished home, it's going to have to get patched and repaired. So you're going to generate way more work than what's necessary. But we're going to let TJ try again. We'll stop it. Close up on him in the box. So just rather than go. Right there. Go more. You only tacked it, right? Yeah. So only the bottom is tacked. So you gotta remember to kind of apply pressure to the sheet itself too, or else the tracer is not even gonna hit this, and it's just gonna kind of be floating now. So after you do that, if it helps and you feel it running away, because you actually did a lot better right here. Look how much cleaner that is compared to the first one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're getting the concept of it, but as your router, since it's only tacked, you want to kind of generate the board wants to, you know, it needs to go in so the tracer brick can actually touch it. Okay. Yeah? <clears throat> okay, that's good, bro. And that's how you learn. <laughs> Thank you. 